Hello, this is Sandra Hart, and today I think I'm going to do a little bit of a different kind of video. I am going to be showing you some of my vintage earring collection. Hello, this is Sandra Hart of Life Over 60 with Sandra. So glad to have you join me today. I had a lot of requests to show you some of my jewelry. So today I got out my jewelry box and I thought I would share with you some of my vintage jewelry collections. I have a lot of clip earrings from way back when and I have some pierced and a variety of different kind of styles. Uh, Today, I am wearing Panacea earrings, and they are costume jewelry that uh, was gifted to me. I sent my husband, gave them to me. So, but let's go on now, and I'm going to show you, get out my jewelry box, and I'm going to show you just some of my vintage jewelry, and I'll try to put them in a split screen so that I can be talking and show you some of them. I have to look down at my list. The first one are... Uh, vintage jewelry and they are big crystal flowers. Now I don't wear these too often but I have worn them in several films because they are so heavy and I have really tiny earlobes so they slip off of my ears. I put pads behind them but even though they're so beautiful I don't wear them a lot and I haven't worn them uh, throughout the three the years. The next ones I'm going to show you are very dressy earrings they are hanging onyx and crystal earrings and they are pierced now these are fun earrings that i wore a lot of this jewelry i'm going to tell you i've worn in a lot of films and in television if i had to do a dress-up scene uh, these earrings were perfect to go with a gown uh, they're a lot of fun i haven't worn them in a long time uh, but they're really very pretty they're long earrings uh, with the onyx and crystal in them and I like them very much. They're really very pretty. The next one are vintage earrings. They are clip earrings. They are coral stone and see how they're carved so beautifully with the little seed pearls on them. Really vintage. You can tell how old they are but I just love the detailing in the coral flower. I think it's just so so pretty. The next ones are um, the onyx and crystal square earrings, and they are also clip. I'm really getting very fond of clip earrings today. You know, I haven't worn them since I got my ears pierced very often, but uh, I'm slowly going back to enjoying some of my pierced uh, my clip earrings again. The next ones are my garnet and crystal clips. These are all so beautiful. I'm rediscovering some of these things myself. Oh, I love these. These are, this pair of earrings I think probably is one of my very favorite and unique earrings I've ever had. These are my Chanel bird cages. <laughs> And inside of the cages, you can see our tiny little seed pearls. They are just so unusual and so very nice. And I would wear these a lot of times when I would wear, when my hair was longer, and I would wear my hair back in a bun or where I would wear it up away from my face so that I could showcase these beautiful little birdcage earrings. Aren't they cute? I really like them a lot. The next one uh, would be my drama masks. These are done also in coral stone and the drama or tragedy and comedy are also clip earrings. They're very unusual, but they're very, all of these clip earrings that are like this, you know, they'd show off much better when I wear my hair off my face. These are beautiful little earrings. I like them. They are gold and I call them my gold donut earrings. They are gold clips with the hanging donut on them. 
but they're very pretty and very simple. That's why I like them. They look, they really look nice like with a black dress or a black top and maybe a pearls around my neck because they are so simple and pretty. The next pair of earrings are vintage with the round pearl in them. They're very unusual and very nice. A lot of these I said, you know, I haven't worn in a long, long time, but when I got my box out and I started looking at some of these, I realized that they really were very pretty and I should probably wear them more often. Now these earrings, remember the acrylic purses back in the 50s? I, I used to have them. I sold them, I think, on eBay a long time ago, and I'm really sorry that I did. But these are vintage 1950s acrylic earrings. They are clipped, but they would still be fashionable today if uh, I would wear them. But they're very unique, and I like them because they're so different and really wonderful for summer. Here uh, is another pair of vintage earrings. These are garnet and crystal earrings, and they are also clip earrings. I just love the detailing on some of these earrings. If you look at them through a microscope, which I have done, an eyeglass, um, magnifying glass, uh, very interesting detail in a lot of these. These next earrings are so delicate and so beautiful with the doves and the hoops and the little hanging seed pearls. They're so feminine and so delicate. Aren't they? They're really so pretty. I like them a lot. These earrings next are Brazilian earrings with the raw crystal set in them and they match uh, a couple of purses that I have by the same manufacturer that have big chunks of amethyst crystal uh, attached to the brass uh, cover on the purse. These next earrings are pierced. They are hanging gold tassels. Very unusual and different, but these are also vintage. Most of these earrings, I would say all of these earrings that I'm showing you today are vintage earring, earrings either from the uh, 1920s, 50s, or uh, 60s, nothing, early, nothing later than the 1980s. Another pair of my favorite uh, earrings, very simple, very nice. These are Palomo Picasso earrings in sterling silver from uh, Tiffany's. They're very pretty. I used to wear them an awful lot when I was working, but now that I'm not working, I don't know why, but I haven't gotten them out of my jewelry box in a long time. But they are very simple and very nice. And as I said, you know, when, when I wear my hair back or behind my ears, I can highlight my earrings much better. But because my hair is the way it is, unless I have long dangling earrings, it, it just they just don't show up at all. Here is another pair of very old earrings. They're vintage filigree earrings with tiny little seed pearls hanging from them. They're round and of course uh, don't show up too much when I have my long hair. But they're also very pretty and they are clip earrings as well. These earrings are really nice and they have the hanging hoop with them with the pearl accents on them. And again, I don't remember. I think these might be from, I'm trying to remember, maybe the 70s. But uh, very unusual earrings. I like them a lot. And the next pair of earrings uh, are my wedding earrings. I wore these little diamond earrings with a beautiful diamond necklace when I got married to Arthur. So these are my wedding earrings and I, to be honest with you, very rarely ever wear them. It's sad, but you know, I should you know wear them from now and then. It's like putting away your your good china and your silver for a rainy day. Well, I use my silver every day and I use my good china every day, so why not start wearing some of my earrings every day instead of keeping them hidden in the box. And this last pair of earrings are just hanging iridescent earrings. I believe they are from 1928. I used to 
be a representative for them on the home shopping network in, uh, I think, in 90, 96, 97, somewhere around there. But these are very pretty earrings as well. That's the end of the vintage earring show today. Just a tiny little video. I just thought I would pop in and I would share some of these things with you today because I have had people ask me to show some of my jewelry. So I thought earrings might be quite appropriate today. Uh, please do something wonderful for yourself today. And as I said, you know, call somebody, tell them you love them and that you're thinking about them. And of course, to share the happiness and let's all hang in there together because this too shall pass, I hope. Thank you for watching me. I really love reading your comments. I love having you along on this journey with me. And I sincerely hope that you all have a wonderful, wonderful day today.